Hello Scorpio, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling magnificent. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, thank you very much. Welcome back, Scorpio. Your time is valuable, so let's jump straight into it. Let's dive straight in. I will clear the deck for you first. And Scorpio, as the title suggests, you saw in the cover, it is the case of the X. It is very rare that I do very specific readings like this where we talk exclusively about the X, but I thought it was appropriate because this is the last month, you know, we're wrapping things up here and perhaps you just are curious to see what I will be revealing for the collective about your X. You know, if you're curious, that's fine. Perhaps you're seeking clarity, insight, uh, or even just confirmation of what you know to be true, whether you have physical evidence or not. And um, maybe you've dodged a bullet or maybe there is hopes of some form of reconciliation or amends or the chance to forgive or close that door permanently. Let's see, Scorpio. Also, on the last week of December, I will be doing your 2023 energies. Uh, I can't wait. I'll, I'll, I'll most likely be covering different areas of your life, but I just can't wait to do it. Uh, it's going to be uh, amazing. It's a fresh, clean slate. We're almost at the end of the year, so we made it. Let's do this. So Scorpio, please, two more times. The case of the X. Let's see everything and anything that you should know about, please, for your highest good. Scorpio, please, and their person. I don't know, I'm, I was just getting a bit of closed off energy from you. I've been getting that a lot. Whoa, what do we have? I don't want to pause the video. Eight of cups, six of swords, five of cups. Uh, someone regrets walking away. Who walked away? Was it you or was it your person? Or did you both go your separate ways here? We walked away, we tried to move on, and now we're regretting it. That is interesting. If your person was the one that walked away, they're suffering. It's like, what did I just do? Why did I do that? You know, it happens sometimes. You know, we do stuff and we're like, why did I do that? Why was I compelled to say that or do that? All right, here we go. Two more. And last one. I always shuffle away because I don't want to see the cards. I also like to surprise myself. Here we go. What do we have underneath the deck? Yeah, I think that's you. Seven of Wands. Now, this does represent Leo energy, but I kind of already picked up that you're a little bit closed off. Maybe that was the wrong word. Maybe it's a bit defensive here. Not in a bad way. We're just protecting our space, our energy here. We're protecting our heart, our spirit. Why not? We've got the Phoenix rising from the ashes. I'm seeing here that you are very assertive of what you want and what you don't want in regards to this person, though. I don't know why I did this, like the guns. I don't know why I did that. That was... <laughs> I talk with my hands too much. What I do like here is that you can say no to someone without being rude or without causing an argument here. You are definitely standing your ground. You're defending your position. And yes, your barriers are very tight when it comes to this person. Your walls may be very up here as well when it comes to them. Six of Pentacles. That is a Taurus energy right there. What I like is that the scales are balanced. That's telling me in the past they were not balanced at all, though. Um, this is all about equal give and take here as well. I think you may find out something also that perhaps, you know, your person, you know, in the past, maybe they were, not all of you, maybe they were dealing here with spousal support, child support, money being, you know, or assets here being equally divided here as well. Something to do with the court as well but see what i do like and i think this is going to allow you to put perhaps your walls down just a little bit though because I'm, I'm already eyeing that ten of cups i'll get to that in a minute the six of pentacles always promises to me that this person if they're thinking about you if they do want to come back because they're in deep regret over this is that they're coming back with good intentions this is someone that is well-meaning now i know shock <laughs> it's a bit of a shocker here definitely expect a gift i mean we are coming towards you know the holidays christmas if you celebrate that you may be receiving something even if it's small it's a it's like a token of love of appreciation it's waving the white flag here towards you and you're like oh i wasn't expecting that but we do have that whoa when the 10 rolls over we get the ace um scorpio scorpio <laughs> If I were to say to you that this person wants a second chance and this gift here is like a platform, a catalyst for that, how would that make you feel? 
The Ten of Cups, Pisces energy here, and remember your person can be any star sign, um, doesn't have to be Pisces. This is a very strong card of reconciliation, of reunion. You're happily ever after here. Feeling emotionally abundant, but it keeps getting better because we have the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a true card of love, falling in love all over again. But to do that, your person has to walk away from something or someone. Mm, they're traveling towards you though. They're seeking the truth. That's what they're doing. They're moving towards you. Wow, okay, wasn't expecting this. From leaving here, they come back. There's regret here. Let's get, oh, this is interesting. I was not expecting this because I thought here you are, it's like, no, I'm gonna put my foot down, but something's happening here. All these cups is just a lot of emotions, a lot of love, adoration. I think here that both of you had tried very hard to emotionally disconnect from one another and that just didn't work. Let's get to your the head of your reading. I can't wait to clarify these cards already. The Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy. Okay, so there's been some dishonesty here. Perhaps both of you have been lying to each other, as in lying to ourselves. That's the better way to put it. It's like, I don't want this, I don't want this. Um, I don't want this person, I don't want Scorpio, but it's like, who are you trying to convince? You know, who, you know yourselves, each, who are you trying to convince? This can also be when we're putting on our mask here and we're lying to ourselves or lying to the people around us that we don't want this. Now, for some of you, yes, there could have been some issues here with lying, cheating, stealing. Maybe your person in the past was being, they thought they were being cunning here like the fox. Perhaps you caught them out here in a lie or you were the last person to find out about something. So trust at the moment is a very big barrier. No wonder you're kind of in this seven of swords like, Yes, get, you can talk to me, but just don't get too close. What else do we have? The Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. So we move on from the seven to the eight. Now it's Gemini energy. Um, I see here that you're, you're, you're holding back. Absolutely. What a difference on how this person's coming towards you and you're like, oh, I'm not gonna forget about these swords. Absolutely not. Sometimes, you know, I would just say here, don't fall into victim mentality mode because that is definitely not like you to do that. Um, or just to like listen to your ego or believing in the worst case, you know, scenario or outcome. You know, this is kind of, it's surrounded by our ego, mental imprisonment. There's a lot of anxiety here, a lot of nervous energy. And I think you're thinking here, holding back, it's like, how on earth can this be fixed? I do see there's been quite a lot of damage. It's been a while also since perhaps you saw this person. Yeah, they're gonna tell you the truth. The, the King of Swords. That's been the main theme for a, a while now. Very strong Aquarius energy, but this could also be a fellow Gemini or um, Libra. This is definitely, it's either an ex or someone that you have history with. You know this person, they're not a stranger. Um, but the, here they come, the sword is, look how the cards are jumping out of my hands. Um, I talk too much with my hands, but here they come to, uh, they want to talk to you. And I almost feel here that what you don't like is perhaps the last time you saw them, they were very cold as well. Something happened. See, these scales are balanced now. They definitely were not balanced in the past though. We've got the King of Cups and that's you. That's Scorpio energy. You're keeping, you know, it's almost like you can interpret that as you're giving it or you're receiving it. But I think that's your heart and you're keeping it because you're not really trusting the situation here or you've been trying to keep your emotions at bay kind of hidden. I think that you still do have very strong feelings for this person. But, you know, your logic is saying, let's not forget what happened here. All right, they might be telling you the truth, but they chose to do that. Let's see, the beating heart, are you kidding me? The beating heart of your reading is the Queen of Cups. You're coming across as the perfect match, the King and the Queen of Cups. We've literally have your person looking at you and you're looking like, ah, I don't know what to do. And they're looking at you thinking, my cup's empty, yours is full. Can we please come back together? Can you hear me out? Oh boy. And I couldn't have sworn, did I see the Empress? Yes, I did. Because when the cards flipped over is the Empress. We have Taurus Libra energy there. I have to say this. Yes, there could be children here already involved for some of you. Maybe they have children, you have children, or between both of you. If that's not even the case, or regardless, if it is, I mean, this is the most abundant card. There's nothing more abundant. I love how they're viewing you as, you know, accomplished, you know, very... Um, an individual, you're on your own, you're smashing things down, but this is giving birth to the situation once more. I don't think here that uh, you can deny your feelings. Both of you cannot deny each other's feelings anymore. What else? We have the moon, Pisces, Cancer energy. Emotions are running still very high for one another. 
for some of you, this definitely could have been a secret love affair. Like, you know, they call it like a clandestine love affair. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yeah, there's been a lot of secrets. There's been a lot of mysteries here. I think both of you have been, have tried to repress your feelings during this time of not being together. But here comes your person saying, you know what? I love you. No more lying. I cannot do this anymore. This person absolutely loves you. They're looking at you and you're kind of like looking the other way thinking, oh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Mm. I think you don't, it, one thing you're tired about is, you know, keeping things under wraps, you know, mysteries, secrets, white lies. What do we have in the near future when it comes to this person? You're going to keep holding back? I don't think you will. We've got the world. This will directly impact you in a very positive way because you're in this card. We have here uh, Taurus. Uh, hang on. Yes, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and we have Scorpio. So the, you are here. So regardless if you're at a long distance or not, we have the ending here. In other words, this is a really good card to get. And it's a very good omen to get. It's considered very lucky. And it's actually in your near future because this is like wrapping up tough cycles here. It's like the graduation. You pat yourself on the back. Both of you have learned your lessons. In saying that, though, this is a brand new cycle. This very well may burst into the scenes towards the end of the year or at the start of the year. So I cannot wait to, to, to do your 2023 um, reading because I expect to see the world again or some, some variation. We've got giving birth to this and we've got a brand new start here. The outcome is the Hierophant Taurus energy. Number five, changes, commitment, marriage. Wow, I'm curious. One more. Yep, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That is committing. To, I'm sorry, I think I did that too fast. There you go. <laughs> I think, yeah, that's commitment. That's stability. Wow, this is looking good. I think in due time, you may, in due time, when you feel comfortable to lower your walls down. There's still a lot of passion and love here. We cannot deny that. Let's clarify these cards. Ooh. So was this under wraps? When you were with this person, Scorpio, was this like kind of like secret? Keep like not many people knew about this or maybe no one knew about this. Was there a third party? Were they committed here already to someone else? This is interesting because... um. I mean, for the collective watching this, it's pretty clear that, you know, the cards, the spirit is telling you that you are the perfect match here. I've got the Hierophant again. I think you're both mirroring each other. One more, please. You want this. Yep. Scorpio, please. The case of the ex. Regardless, this doesn't have to be a long-term commitment. Um, it's just someone that you have history with. Five of Cups. Wow, oh, that's you, Scorpio energy. Yeah, you're, you're, I think you're very disappointed in how things ended, and even in your person. All right. Oop. Here we go. Let's do this. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Pentacles. That's Virgo energy right there. Um, could also be a Taurus and a Capricorn. It is mainly Virgo. This shows a passage of time because it is the slowest moving night. It's my favorite night. This is the most reliable night. Because believe it or not, this person now is promoting very good changes. This is someone that's coming back loyal, practical, very grounded now. And they know what they want. There's nothing impulsive about their return. Ooh, they want to offer you something solid, such as... Ah, there you are. This is you. Judgment, strictly ruled by you, Scorpio. This is about resurrection. As you can see, from your point of view, it's like this is done and dusted. This is over, thanks to all of this. Too much secrets, too much mystery, too many lies, too much keeping this under wraps. And here your person is saying, hey, I'm going to unbury this relationship. Let's have another chance at this. Two of Swords. Uh, sorry, Two of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. Ah, the choice is yours, though. I think it's almost like, oh God, I did so much work on moving forward. But we have signs here saying that both of you are each other's perfect match, which would lead to what? The Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, a brand new start, a passionate new start. You're getting messages though. We've got the Eight of Wands, Sag energy about what? The ending, the death card. And that is you, Scorpio energy. You are a completely different person. In fact, I'm already seeing in January and February for the collective watching this, there's like you're literally coming out of your shell, like the snake shedding its skin. 
wow, this is like the 2.0 version here. There's been huge transformations within you and this person. This is beautiful. Let's talk about that Seven of Swords. It's a bit of a tricky card. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So this is interesting. There definitely could have been some dishonesty here. Or even just, again, I'm, I'm really picking up that um, perhaps you and your person were lying to each other or yourselves. That's what I'm trying to say about your true thoughts and feelings. I'm wondering if your person was married or committed here to someone else. That's why, I, I don't know, there's something here about your relationship that was a bit of a mystery, a secret to the outside world. I think they always wanted this with you. It's like literally having it all, all that security, all that stability, all that commitment or even marriage. Wow. They want it all. Let's talk about that Eight of Swords because I see you holding back. Oh my God. We literally have the world in the same line. What are the chances of that? Yeah. I don't think you're going to be holding back that long because the world really shows that this, the worst is over. It's done and it's dusted. We have a brand new beginning here. Sandwiched in the middle is the Queen of Cups. They're literally looking at you thinking, I really want a brand new start with you. I really want this. And here they come to verbalize it because of the nine of cups, Pisces energy, because you are their wish fulfillment. Wow. We have a personal wish being granted. So Scorpio, when it comes to this person, what is your personal wish? Something that you haven't verbalized ever. I think they're going to verbalize it to you because the king of swords, you know, they just get straight to the point. It's like, you know what, Scorpio, I want you because I love you, because you are my dream come true. I don't think they're tired of keeping this to themselves. Let's clarify you. There we go. King of Cups is clarified by the King of Cups again. Regardless of gender, we have you. This is Scorpio energy. So this is just, I always find it very fascinating when we shuffle the cards so much and yet we clarify the same card with the same card, different deck, different authors. This person absolutely loves you. Their focus is on you like double time here. And dare I say, Scorpio, that you do love this person. And I think you're tired of suppressing it, of keeping it a secret, keeping it a mystery. Let's talk about the Queen of Cups, the Four of Wands, Aries energy. So what's on their mind? Why are they looking towards you? They want reconciliation because you feel like home to them. This is the card of commitment or marriage. And I always say or marriage because it can be marriage, but we don't all have to get married, don't we? We can just be in a committed, happy relationship. But if you want to get married, it is there. This entire line here is commitment and marriage. And it's all pointing to you. Let's talk about the beautiful Empress. I refer twice. Okay. This is getting creepy in a good way. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay. They do want this. And dare I say... I'm inclined to say, Scorpio, that you want the same thing as well. There's been big epiphanies with that judgment card. That's you. Big realizations where your eyes are open. You're seeing the situation in its raw state, how it is. Yep. We've got commitment here. Marriage. Doing the right thing this time. The moon is clarified by the seven of wands. We've got it twice. That's you right there. Hopes, fears, and wishes. Do not be afraid about people. You know what, whether you do, whether you go back to this person or not, I always say this, the world will move on with or without you. And whether you go back to this person or not, people will talk about you regardless. So you might as well do whatever the hell you want, Scorpio, because you're in control here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, your person is worried that you may judge them harshly. They're probably worried that the people around you that really care for you, that love you may judge them harshly. Some things in life, not everything, but some things in life are worth fighting for. And I think they're secretly going to be fighting for this. Let's talk about the world. Dare I say, I don't have to say anything else, do I? Look what I have, the Ace of Cups for you in the near future. This will directly impact you. It's the true card of love. It's falling in love all over again. This is beautiful, Scorpio. Like, obviously you do what you want, but I'm saying if I were a Scorpio, yes, I would give this person another chance. Circumstances here perhaps prevented both of you from coming together, but not anymore. The Hierophant is clarified by, of course, the Seven of Swords. Look at that. We start with the Seven of Swords. We end with that Seven of Swords. Again, more secrecy. More, please. There could be an apology about this as well. 
Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Energy. I think both of you are going to keep this under wraps. Why? Why is that? Is it until you're more established, until it's more committed here? Is your per you know, listen, if your person is committed or married to someone else here, do not be surprised. I have to say this because, you know, I'm pretty always frank, you know, and I'm pretty clear about my readings here. They may still approach you when they're probably still committed here to someone else. It's just that their heart is with you. There is no love with the other person that is involved. I'll split the deck. Queen of Swords. And we have the King of Swords here. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a big conversation coming up. I can already see that. This might be a relationship that's under wraps for now until it's more established, like I said, more committed, you know. Well, we'll not be surprised. I think you're going to know about this, that pro there's probably still a third party hanging around. That's why. There's, I'm seeing that your person is sneaking around to come back to see you. Wow. I don't, I don't really feel like there's a lot of love there, though. But with that king and that queen of swords, this indeed could be a very important conversation that provides an epiphany here for the both of you and perhaps taking this really, really slow. But I, I, it's almost like both of you cannot deny how much you love each other. This is not like a, a passionate, you know, um, love affair, but there's no love. It's all physical. No, there is a lot of love here. I mean, we've clarified yourself with yourself and your person's still looking at you thinking, I want you, I, you know, with the Empress and the Hierophant, I want to, I want to build something with you. I want to give birth to this once more. Wow. Amazing reading. I have to admit, this is just going to be a bit tricky though. How is your person going to leave behind that which no longer serves them as well? Um, yeah, that is something that's going to happen with that conversation. I can already see that where you're both on the same page. Scorpio, this is what I have for you and your person. Amazing. This is far from over. I can already see this. Some, there's going to be a turnaround. We've got the world twice. A brand new cycle here. Um, so I'll see you in the next couple of days with a brand new reading, fresh new topic. And I cannot wait on the last week of December to do the 2023 big energies. Super excited about that. I will see you soon. And I'm sending much love to you, Scorpio. Please take care. Bye.